Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hey, this week on Tech Tip, I'm gonna go ahead and answer a question that a lot of people will ask, and uh, that is, hey Todd, on the Vitron um, inverters and actually on the generators, why do they list the output in volts amps and not watts? Todd, Todd, so Todd, Todd, Todd. What? You gotta tell people Dude, about I'm this doing sale. A, I'm doing a tech tip you right here. You only have a week left. A week left for what? The, the um, buy more safe. The sale on the batteries. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. Sorry about this, guys. Hey, um, we have a sale going on of these batteries. The 12 volt, uh, 300 amp hour battery, if you buy two, you save $1,000. If you buy three, you save $1,800. And of course, if you buy four, you'll save $2,800. That's our Black Friday sale. Get it before Black Friday, and uh, you'll just be better than everyone else. So go ahead and jump online now over at bigbeardbattery.com and order your batteries today. So let's go ahead and finish up what I'm talking about. So again, why do we, um, why is the MultiPlus, why is anything from Vitron going to be listed as VA, volts, amps, instead of watts, right? A lot of times, and I, I'm, I've been known to do this as well, we'll identify these inverters based on watts because I think it's a relatively easy term to identify, but that is incorrect. So here I have the uh, MultiPlus from Vitron, which is 3000 VA. You may have also an onboard generator from Onan or any other group, and they may use VA, 5500 volts amps, right? Or we typically call that a 5500 watts. Well, again, both your inverter and the generator is a source of power, but they don't know the load that they're gonna be feeding. Here's the thing, in order to identify the amount of work that these can perform, you have different types of loads. It could be a resistive load, it could be what we call an inductive load, and this is where we have coils that actually produce the power, produce the work. Um, it could be a nonlinear load, which is gonna be some cheap uh, LEDs, things like that. Uh, and then you have capacitive loads, air conditioners, right? Capacitors, so all of those different types of demands cause a different type of load to both the inverter and your generator, right? So both Vitron and uh, higher quality inverters and generators, they will list it on volts amps because they don't know uh, what type of power you're gonna be using, what type of demand you're gonna be using. So they limit that. So here's the thing, why, we, why do we need to know all that? Because here's the thing, if we identify it as, like this MultiPlus is a 3000 watts, well our air conditioner may pull only upwards of 2400 watts, so we can run the air, someone may think we can run the air conditioner and maybe another 600 watts somewhere else. And that's not true, okay? Because here's the thing, okay? Your air conditioner is a combination load. It is an inductive load, but it's also a capacitive load. So it's gonna draw a little bit different power uh, than say a purely resistive load, like a heating element, okay? So in the, in the winter, when you're turning on your heating elements, the inverter can push upwards of 3000 uh, watts, or VA, if it was a purely resistive load, but in the summer, you can't do that. How do we figure this out? If you look at the data plate, there'll be a PF, which stands for power factor. Uh, Vitron uses a 0.8, which drops it down to about 2,400 watts. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Uh, when you look at anything and they classify it as VA, kind of dig into it, see if they give you a power factor. They use a power factor of 0.8, so they'll tell you roughly around 2,400 watts continuous. Your generator, they don't do that, but we still use that as just an understood rule. If you have a generator, whatever the moniker it states, right, 5,500, 6,000, 7,000, multiply that times 0.8, that's your power factor right? Because your load determines the power factor. So we'll just use that kind of common number there. Here's our end result. And here's the takeaway, okay? Whenever you use an inverter or a generator and you see those numbers, just look at 80%. Don't try and pull any more than 80% of that load and you should be safe. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started. <laughs> That's right, apparent power. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop just for a second, make sure I got that right. The um, buy more, save the more. The sale soon. on the batteries. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. Sorry about this, guys. Hey, um, we have a sale going on. <laughs>